How's it been going so far? Oh, it's going phenomenally. I see you've I got love the in your hand. Absolutely. I think everyone, everyone should have some of this if they encounter someone that they have a conversation with. Have you been up at the checkpoint handing these to people who are stopped, or where, who are you handing these to? Uh, I guess I'm just handing them out to people that are holding signs, part of the Liberty Project here, to uh, give out to people that they encounter. It's a lot of gratitude with people that are driving around and see our signs, and they pull over and they have conversations with us, or passers-by and pedestrians that might want to know more about what we're doing and might be inclined to learn more about liberty and these are great things to hand out to people. Why do you think this is a particularly good place for the police to choose for a DUI checkpoint? I actually don't think it's a very good place at all for them. Um, oh, okay. In fact, it's very interesting. Um, normally they have it on Bridge Street, right by the queue, um, and right on a bridge where no one can turn off and they have no notice that there's a checkpoint there at that point. By the time they see the flashing lights, there's nowhere for them to turn off, which is actually a great place for them, uh, for uh, the thieves that are our overlords that are you know doing this. But this particular location, they actually gave a sign early enough in this checkpoint tonight that allows motorists to turn off once they see the flashing lights and once they see the sign. Because yeah, the state's required to post a sign that says sobriety checkpoint ahead. And in this case, they actually utilize it according to the law, which gives motorists notice and allows them to turn off before they encounter it. Cool. So Thanks, it's, man. it's pretty good. Well, I want to give them some cover. They're headed to the checkpoint. Cool.